don't you just hate internet warriors self-righteous people who just want to act big on the internet there is a gentleman i'm not going to name names this time but he knows who he is or she is i don't understand why you do not answer my questions you always just answer my questions with questions that just proves you're just trying to hide something or you are afraid to answer my questions why because i'm right look racism is not good but it exists everywhere and in my opinion verbal racism should just go through one ear and out the other maybe i'm just too carefree or just too nonchalant about it but look i don't give a shit about racism in the fact that if it's verbal and they don't punch you in the face because you're black or you're asian or this or that right then you know what's it to them what you are like why do people bother so much with strangers right in my opinion those people who are racist are probably just trying to act tough and they just want to make themselves like little dogs you know when they bark too much they're just asserting themselves to try and look big it's the same yeah it's not right but seriously it exists everywhere and if you want to stop it you can't because it's if you get rid of two people another 10 are going to come up in their place it's like the you know hydra you chop off one head two heads come back up right it exists in all nations and the reason why i don't the only actually the only racism that i actually care about is in the workplace discrimination just like for example in my country for example people can't find jobs because you know they're only hiring particular people like for example koreans hiring koreans or polish hiring polish or aussies just hiring aussies or whatever um this kind of discrimination i don't tolerate but you know verbal abuse come on people are bigger than that aren't they can't they just take it on the chin seriously what's with all the political correctness nowadays yeah I think that the world is full of it now and it's ridiculous. Like on Family Guy, when a woman with Down syndrome was portraying a Down syndrome woman or girl, and people were like Sarah Palin and other people, various people were beating up on her because of that, right? It's ridiculous. She chose to do it. She just wanted, she knew that it was not offensive to her and she had Down syndrome too, right? So why can't people just take it lightly? Of course, that's different in a way. But the main point is people shouldn't let small little things that strangers say to them, whether it be racial, derogatory, or just prejudice or whatever, get to them. Most likely, you're never going to meet that person ever again. And the fact is that I think people worry too much and stress too much come on guys you're gonna die of an early age at an early age if you stress out and worry about the little things in life you know there are more important things to do and i'm not set and like i said in another video of mine good on him for doing what he believed was right but in my opinion he should look at his own country first i don't care for ra verbal racism right like i said unless somebody punch me in the face because I'm of Polish descent and then use derogatory um, language towards me and my just like parents culture my ethnicity then of course I would take some action but seriously the saying goes sticks and stones may break my bones but names will never hurt me maybe that's the way I was taught maybe just you you guys were taught to like nitpick at every little fucking thing that happens to you you know and there are people out there who can't take it well no offense to those people they either are probably suffering from 
depression or they just want to nitpick at everything because they want attention. If someone called me a Nazi or a fucking Jew or something just because I'm Polish, I'd be like, yeah, good on you, mate. See ya. Bye bye, you know, and just be on my way. Am I going to meet that guy again? 90% chance not, you know. The world is that big. Australia is that big, you know. Personally, even if I did see him again and he said it to me again, I'll just smile and be on my way. Because doing that stuff also gives satisfaction to people, you know. That's, again, my opinion. Whether you want to agree with it or not is your choice. I'm pretty much black and white. And just, I might add, as a side thing, the gentleman who, or lady I'm talking about, like, two in this video, I'm not against interracial marriages because I'm married to a Korean. How can I be against interracial marriages when I am involved in an interracial marriage? Um, also, I don't understand why you don't answer my questions. You just answer my questions with questions. It just proves your integrity. Yes, you are self-righteous. You say you are totally against racism. It shouldn't happen. It's going to happen not going to be extinguished i'm sorry but yeah i agree it shouldn't happen but you know it does it's like saying people shouldn't download music for free and people it's illegal to do that right but people still do it i don't know like i said maybe i'm just too carefree take care everyone see ya